Hello everyone, welcome to our new video. Our Facebook ad series is going on. If you want to watch the whole series, you can come to our channel and watch those videos from here. Okay, so in today's lecture, we'll be discussing about business asset groups. So first of all, we'll try to know what is business asset groups and in the later part of the video, we'll show you how to create business asset groups in business manager. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, let's get to know more about business group. So for learning more about business group, we have come to the official documentation of Meta. You can see over here about business asset groups in Meta Business Manager. A business asset group is a collection of assets, for example, pages, ad accounts, and Instagram accounts within Meta Business Manager. Business admins can create business asset groups to organize assets and the people who have access to them. Once you have created a business asset group, you can grant access to individual people or share it with a partner business. You can organize your business assets to suit your needs. For example, if your business has multiple brands or lines of business, you can create a group of assets for each brand or line. If you are an agency, or a service provider with multiple clients, you can create a group of assets for each client. And if, you're, if your business operates in more than one region, you can create a group of assets for each region, okay? You can create assets that own and assets that other have shared with you. You can add the following asset types to a business asset group. One is ad accounts, next one is pages, Instagram accounts, pixel, offline events, apps, catalogs, and custom conversions, okay? So this is very useful doc. I'm gonna share this doc file in the video description so that you can learn more about business asset groups, okay? So let's see how we can practically create business asset groups from our business manager, okay? So first of all, you need to come to the business manager section and underneath the account section, you will have an option called business asset groups, okay? Then you need to click on create business asset group. Then you need to choose from this options. Like if you have separate brands or line of business, or if you are running your services or business in different regions, then you can choose it. If you're an agency owner or working with agency, you can choose this option. And if you have other option, you can choose other. So for the time being, I'm gonna choose agency, okay? And I'll click on confirm. And I have to name the business asset group. So I'm naming it as analytical growth business asset groups. Okay, perfect. Then I will click on next. Then you need to choose the assets like uh, your Facebook business space, ad accounts, and other stuff, you know. So for example, I'm going to choose this one, learn digitally. Okay, and from the ad account section, I'm going to be choosing this one. And if you have pixel, then you can choose the pixel as well. So I'm going to choose this pixel. And if you connected your Instagram account with business manager, then you will see the options of uh, Instagram accounts over here. So I didn't connect any Instagram account. That's why it is not showing any. So if you have, then you can select Instagram account from here. Then you can choose offline event set. If you have catalog, then you can choose it. If you have apps, then you can also select. If you have custom conversions, you can also choose it. If you have business, creative folder, you can also choose it. So for the time being, I'm gonna choose pages, ad account, pixels, and catalog. So I'll click on next, okay? And you need to select the people whom you want to share those access with. So for example, I'm gonna choose this one, this person or these people, okay? And I'm gonna choose this one and this one as well, okay? And I'll click on create. And I'll click on done, okay? So you can see over here, our business asset group has been created, okay? So if you want to add other people, then you can click on add people and select the people from here, then you can give the permission, okay? And if you want to assign partner, then you can 
assign their business ID from here and give them the permission. And if you want to add some asset, then you need to click on add asset. And if you have new assets, then you can add those assets again. Okay, perfect. And you can see the connected assets over here. Like we have the pays, add account, catalog. Okay. So if you want to add further asset, then you can click on add asset. I have just shown you. Okay, you can click add asset and then uh, add new assets if you want. Okay, so hopefully you have understood how to uh, add business assets from business manager portion. Yeah, that's it for this video. If you like our video, then you can subscribe our channel, follow our page. You have a good day. Bye bye.